Cool. I've made it to this category. So first and foremost, hey, um, I'm here from the pop-up agency, um, and I'm going to explain how we fit into this category that is uh, called um, uh, uh, connection um, and learning. And uh, I'm going to do this by uh, explaining the why and the what in my company. And tomorrow in our workshop, I'll explain the how. Uh, so the title for this workshop, uh, sorry, for the, for the keynote is called We Only Need 48 Hours to Solve a Brief. So I'm going to explain to you guys for why we choose to work like this, see if it makes some sense. But in order to understand it, I need to start off by uh, talking about the people behind the company. So I'll start with, off with Maximilian. Maximilian is the youngest in the company. He's 25 years old. He's known for being very structured, um, eye for details, and have a tendency to get a little bit stressed very quickly. Me. My name is Abraham. I'm the oldest in the company. I'm 30 years old. Uh, I'm known for being a bit unstructured. Uh, uh, I'm known for uh, being a bit um, optimistic with everything. Uh, I'm also known for uh, being a little bit too laid back. Um, anyway, this is just a couple of examples. And as you hear quickly, there's, there's some differences between me and Maxi. And this is also something we share with all of the founders uh, in our company, with Yulia, with Alejandro, and with Slotko also. But we have some needs that we share, where we also have values that we share in our company. And this is what we realize really quickly. That's not something unique for us five. It's something that we share with the whole generation, our generation being the millennials. And a lot of all you out there sitting today are that. And um, I'll, I'll just go through quickly um, some anecdotes and stereotypes about our generation. And uh, we have the classic one that we're known for being very spoiled. I do agree. Uh, we live in good times. Uh, we're also known for being very lazy. But I have to defend us here, like, because I, th I think if, if you put us in the right context, you know, where, where we, where we you connect our, our passion, we will definitely strive. Um, we're also known for being very impatient. We're known for needing this need for having a purpose, a goal, uh, a big why. This is supposed to illustrate that. I don't know if it, does, if it does, really does it, but yeah. And uh, we're phone, of course, we're very screen addictive. And this, of course, is something not unique for our generation. This is for everybody today. Um, we have this knack, you know, the need of uh, flexibility. I don't really know where that comes from either. Um, and also, um, we're afraid of commitment. So basically, what happened uh, was two years ago, uh, me and my, my friends and my colleagues today, we basically took our needs, our value from our generation, and created a company. And that happened to become the pop-up agency. So now I'm going to tell you about this amazing first weekend we had, where we basically defined everything. We defined our why, how, what, how we wanted to work, and how we were going to uh, launch our company. So basically, our why for starting this was we wanted to challenge ourselves and the creative industry. How we were going to do this by, was by solving briefs in 48 hours. And what is it? It's a pop-up agency. So, okay, that's the groundwork. And then it was time for, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about our culture. What kind of culture do we want in this company? We decided very quickly um, that these three things were key things, share, feedback, and reflect. This is something we, we practice on a daily basis. Um, we also decided very quickly we did not want to have roles. And this was for the simple reason of we didn't want to get stuck in, in, in roles, and, and we, we wanted to constantly uh, challenge ourselves, as that was a big why in our company, to, to, to constantly learn, but also if we wanted to become an agile company, we needed to be very multidisciplinary. So that's why we cut the roles. And also, we wanted to be global. So all in all, that sounds amazing. But of course, it's easier said than done. So we needed a way to launch our company, but also prototype it to see actually if it actually works. Is it just a cool concept, or does it actually work? So in the same weekend, it was a very productive weekend, I'll tell you that, we came up with the idea of um, a pop-up tour. Basically, 15 weeks, 15 clients, 15 countries. And uh, 
I'll, I'll, um, I can't talk about the tour because it's, it was, it's intense. It was, it was a long, uh, there's a documentary about it, you can see it online. Um, but we put basically, I think around 600 hours preparing for that tour, doing seven uh, test pilots, you know, five jobs in Sweden. We did two abroad just to see how the logistic worked. But anyways, we did this tour uh, in 2013 between um, March and June. And we managed to do the 15 countries. We managed to do 20 client briefs that, 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 in that period. And here's just some of the, the, the clients that we worked with. Everything from Facebook in New York to uh, Coca-Cola in Japan to, uh, to how do a small startup in Berlin. The, the list is endless. And it, it was a really hard tour. I'll, but again, I'll tell you about it later. And again, the learnings were a lot. There was a lot of learnings from this tour. But I'll take three that was very key for us as a company. A was, there's never been a time that is actually there's a benefit of being small. B, we definitely saw that there is new models uh, in our industry. And the most important for us was we see where we fit in in this uh, industry. And basically, at the end of the day, what we realized was like, okay, we're on demand creative agency. And what we do in the 48 hours is we deliver uh, fully developed concepts. So anyways, let's go to today. Where are we today? Today, we're, we're based in uh, London. Um, our core business is still doing the 48 hours. But something that happened throughout the time was, I explained to you the why. The why was to challenge ourselves and the creative industry. But something that we saw along the way made us feel like, no, but now we don't only want to challenge it. We actually want to change it, and this is for several reasons. But what, I, what we want to try to change is, A, the value in the idea, actually paying for it, B, changing the process. And the process is, it's not that I have a new system or, or method, it's not that. It's basically evolving everybody you know, from stage one. That's basically what we're trying to change. And we do this in different ways. And one way is by doing workshops and lectures and basically you know, um, teaching and sharing the, the process and how we do it and, and the experience. Uh, we did a documentary last year that we released um, and that we tell them the story about the first year, how we did it. Uh, it's available online um, and it was shown previously today also. And um, this is the last effort that we have, an effort of changing. And this is a little bit different than the other ones. This is the first time where we actually allow somebody in our company and, and uh, trying to change it together. So this is something called featuring. And basically what we do here is that we've been inspired by the music industry. Imagine Kanye West featuring on Jay-Z's track, basically like that. So pop-up agency featuring, in this case, Jeff Greenspan. He was the first that we had. He's the former chief creative officer at uh, BuzzFeed in New York. And uh, this was an amazing experience. And this is, this, we do this because A, you know, it gives us more muscles to do it. So it's, not, it's just not us and our team. It's actually somebody very experienced. And B, um, it's, they all often are very, uh, they're very influential people. So like the next one we have lined up is, I can't unfortunately not tell. It's a bit of a tease. But, but uh, she's an amazing woman, one of the most powerful women on this planet, I think. Uh, so it's going to be really uh, great to work with her. But then we have a couple of more lined up throughout the year. But yes, so... I'm going to also talk about the future. Of course, I'm not going to talk about the future in general. I'm just going to talk about our future, because that's the one I know. Uh, I'm going to talk about the near future. So since the day we started it, we started a pop-up, we've always thought like simplicity. We've thought e-com. We've thought, how can we take the service industry into and click and buy? So of course, the industry is definitely not mature for it. It's still very relationship-based. Uh, but what we're going to try to do is stimulate that. So what we're going to do is going to try to have that interface. So basically, when you come into our website, it's going to look like maybe, um, where are we? We're, we're in, so imagine like KLMs. Uh, it's like booking a ticket. That's how we want it to feel. Um, another thing that we're, we just, I know this is going to sound so corny, but we did this just before Christmas. Imagine Batman, the Batman signal. You know that? Yeah. Um, so we, we, we want to illustrate uh, the on-demand service. So we gave this uh, uh, pop-up connect to our key clients. And basically what it does is they press it, and this will make sure that we will uh, be at their location within three days. Wherever they are in the world, we'll come to it. Again, and this is just to manifest on-demand. 
And also, uh, something we're uh, releasing in a couple of weeks is something called Ideation Bank. And basically, it's just a, it's a website uh, full of uh, technique uh, of how to generate ideas, because that's what we do at the end of the day. We're all about ideas. And yeah, so let's see. I don't know if it got any, any way like, clear for you guys, like why we, we solve, I mean, why we actually only need 40 hours to solve a brief. And the only way I could answer it is, it's, it's three things. So basically what we did was you know, we looked to our needs uh, and our values and created uh, a work environment where we could strive. Um, and also, of course, behind it is a lot of hard work. We actually put a lot of time to it and created a process. And last but not least, of course, we made sure to have fun. And for you, this doesn't say much, but this is like two and uh, something year of our lives. You know, we've been in over 25 countries and worked. Um, met amazing people, learned a lot on the way, and still are learning. Um, and um, at the end of the day, what I want you to leave you with is, you know, what we do is not a nine to five, it's a lifestyle. And again, come to the workshop tomorrow and I'll explain to you how we actually do it. Thank you.